In this problem, we're going to be evaluating a function for a particular value, but then we're also going to look at the domain of this function. This is a radical equation, and so the thing we need to remember is that we're not going to be taking the square root of a negative. So to find the domain, we take what's under the radical and set it greater than or equal to zero. So first, we'll evaluate this function at f equals negative 14. So if we want f of negative 14, that means we take a 8 minus 2, but where the x was, we substitute a negative 14. That gives us a square root of 8, and then ne minus a negative 2 times negative 14 becomes plus 28. When we combine those together, we get the square root of 36. And if we take just the primary square root of 36, that would be 6, a positive 6. For finding the domain, we need to take the portion under the radical sign and set it greater than or equal to 0 and solve for x. So I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides to get negative 2x is greater than or equal to negative 8. When I divide by the negative 2, I need to remember to flip my, my inequality back. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is 4. So that means I can express this as all x such that x is less than or equal to 4, and that would be my domain.